It broke even. It even broke. Yeah, I didn't even do anything. Good morning, it's bright out. We've been working on the triple all winter. It was the winter project and now it's finally time we gotta take it out and see what this machine can do. Turbo Alpha, also there behind me. If you guys remember, a few weeks ago, I limped that off the mountain. I'll show you what I found another time. Let's get the triple loaded up. Let's go see dad. Let's try out this Summit Mach-Z. Let's see what this thing can do. Woo, race stripes. Oh man, that is greasy. There's a couple of you making fun of my clip saying, hey, you run that thing rich enough? I think the motor might be new because when I did the compression test, it was equal on every cylinder. I'm beginning to get the feeling that this is gonna be one of the last voyages that this old Chevy truck makes. Everything is very loose, it's starting to shake, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna Rebel Stoke certify this thing anymore. We are headed over to Dad's today. We haven't done a lot of the fun stuff that uh, we usually get to do, and it's all been because of the weather. We got a new exhaust leak in the pickup. Now, I don't think I can get down there today, but I think uh, I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe I can take us for a rip down to the river. All right, this thing is looking freaking sharp here today. Dad's over there in the shop working on the bike. Let's fire this thing up, see if we can wake him up. This is probably about the loudest these machines come. So this was our $250. There's one more in front of you there on the hood. Because it's badass. Look at that, badass. Yeah, so this is our $250 mountain sled. It's got the 779 triple in it. It's got the uh, the stingers in it, which are those little tiny cans down there. Oh, down there. Yeah, the monster okay. cans. So this is about as loud as these things come. <laughs> wow, that ever cleaned up nicely. Not bad for a $250 sled, this huh? Is, this is the fire one, right? This was the one that caught on fire. The fire one. Yeah, this is this is the one. And uh, we now have brakes on it. Ah, brakes are a crutch. Yeah, I switched over to the cat brakes. I know I said we'd put the uh, the Polaris brakes on. We got cat brakes. We got a light switch. Lights don't work, but uh, I just got to figure that out. Very Man, nice. what else with this thing? I'm just here to see what it can do test it out i've never this is the first time it's moved under its own power ever oh okay yeah well, we've got a bunch of snow the trailing arms are bent yeah, no just the wait one is so that one is a little bit or more than this one is a slight yeah that one's a slight excellent. this one's a little bit excellent gotta have bent trailing arms <laughs> yeah <right>? that is <laughs> one shiny sleigh that's nice yeah I also worked on putting on a speedo cable. So the speedo cable is now running to the gauge and it's running off the drivers. So hopefully we'll find out today the speedo works. And we're gonna be adding a little bit of oil into the fuel because this thing's completely deleted, which means we gotta mix our own fuel and oil together for us. Okay, let's let this thing warm up for a little bit.
than you think. <laughs> Tree get you? No. Oh. I lost a little bit of a steering link here. It broke even. It even broke. Yeah, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it broke right at the uh, weld. Oh, we've seen that before. Yeah, and I didn't even I didn't even do anything. I just took it off a little bump. <laughs> so I'll have to get that link replaced. But besides that, man, it's got a lot of power. Can't stand on it at all because it's so slippery. But I think I'm pretty much done with it. Like this is an awesome sled now. Besides that, it's good looking. Yeah. So I think what I want to do, I think I want to put this thing for trade. And good then idea. Maybe we can get something cooler. We can trade up. Well, I rode it till I wrecked it. Didn't take long. I know it was kind of a shorter video today. I'm just passing through and I kind of had a limited time to do this today. Yeah, this thing was a fun project, but as with me, I just want to move on to the next thing. So if we get rid of this, we can move on to the next one. It's been a really moody winter here, so I'm actually excited to get the bike out. And that's what my dad has been harassing me about too, because he wants his bike to work. So I'm going to go into the shop here. I'm going to help him pull his engine. Sounds okay. Yeah, how's that? All right, that puts a wrap on today's video. We got some engine work to do on the bike, which uh, we'll take care of. And we got a little bit more work to do on the Summit Mach Z. So I know it was a short video, uh, but I gotta head back to work. So uh, see everybody in the next video coming up real soon.